Oh shit. Oh shit. going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon, Dragon Squad. Squad. I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborne. We are Reaction, Reaction Dragons. Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon's Lair. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Thanks so much for the support guys. Now what's on the menu for today, Glacier? Uh, we're back at you with a trailer drop, Marvel's Loki. Marvel's Loki and holy shit. Uh, tying back to you know our Mandalorian reaction, uh, make sure to check that out. We you know, obviously realized that uh, Disney Plus did their investors day where they literally just exploded with content all over everybody's faces. And I mean, especially with the MCU and Star Wars specifically, there's gonna be this renaissance of content within the next few years. So we're starting off with Loki, but I did want to give shout outs to all the new shit that's dropping between the shows and the movies before we started. Cause this shit is fucking crazy. You have Ironheart coming out, which from what I understand it's uh, Riri Williams. I don't know the complete story, but somehow she gets access to the Stark tech and builds her own Iron Man suit. And we have Miss Marvel, which I know there's a, a like a sizzle for that one. We're not gonna react to that, but essentially she like idolizes Captain Marvel. I think her, her she's like a shapeshifter. Like she can like, I know she can like grow her hands really big. Kind of like a little bit of Mr. Fantastic abilities, but a very powerful. So I'm looking forward to that Disney series that's coming out. Uh, we got She-Hulk, of course, it's gonna be fucking crazy. Armor Wars, which is cool. I didn't know about that. Uh, Don Cheadle as War Machine oh, yeah. is gonna be in that one. And apparently that one, what I'm guessing is, you know, terrorists or somebody gets their hands on the uh, Stark tech and build, builds them to weaponize them. I'm sure it's gonna be something along that line, just more epic scale. Uh, we have Secret Invasion, which that's just gonna be crazy because that's tying into Nick Fury and Talos from oh, Captain okay. Marvel. Yep. And obviously that was like one of the biggest comic book storylines like in history in Marvel. And so the fact that they're making it a series is gonna be crazy. They're gonna have plenty of time to let that shit breathe before it ties into the next you know, Avengers movie, whatever the case is. Yep. That's gonna be crazy. We have Moon Knight. Oscar Isaac's playing Moon Knight, which is gonna be fucking nuts. Guardians of the Galaxy is doing Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but before that, they're doing some kind of a Christmas special series that's coming out, and a I Am Groot series. But as far as the movies go, holy fucking shit, you got the ones I'm most hyped about is Spider Man 3 and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, because those are gonna fully expand the multiverse. And with all the shit I'm seeing with Spider Man 3, they're bringing out everybody from all the original movies. They got all three Spider Man, you know, Toby, Andrew, and uh, Tom Holland. They're bringing back Electro, they're bringing back Doc Ock. It would be cool is if they can get somehow crossover uh, Venom, Tom Hardy. I mean, yeah, I feel like that's gonna be in the car too. Now they're gonna have a multiverse, that's a perfect opportunity to bring Venom in. I just found out, like, I guess one of the big announcements was Fantastic Four is official now. And it's the same director, John Watts, that did the Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. Well, to be honest, he doesn't have uh, a lot to... Uh, yeah, the bar's not set very high, so <laughs> he just has to make it good and people will think it's good. That's no offense to any Fantastic Four fans, they're just... It is what it is, you know. Yeah. Black Panther 2 is coming out, so I know they're going to pay homage to Chadwick Boseman. Rest, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, and then Thor Love and Thunder, we know that's coming out, but I think they announced Christian Bale's officially casted in it. Yeah, he's, a villain. The, yeah, he's the main villain. villain, I think. I think it's like Gore the... Gore or something. Yeah. I forgot. I'll look into it. But um, crazy ass fucking shit coming out, but obviously we're starting with Loki. Super stoked for the series. When we left off, you know, in Avengers Endgame, this version of Loki was in the 2012 Avengers timeline. So obviously they were trying to get the Space Stone. Hulk busts through the door when he's going up the stairs and knocks the briefcase out of Tony Stark's hand. Space Stone, or the Tesseract, rolls right into Loki's hands and he uses yeah. it and fucking escapes. And that's the last we see him. So I'm sure this is just following that whole adventure. So it's yeah. gonna be crazy as fuck. Apparently Owen Wilson's in this as well. So all I gotta say to that is, wow. <laughs> wow. But um, we're ready to get the fuck in this. Glacier, are you ready? Yeah, I'm fucking ready. We're ready. We know the Dragon Squad's ready, so without further ado, let the reaction begin. Oh, where we left off. Is. Door two. Get your hands off. Get your hands off. Get your hands off. Do you remember all this shit from Endgame? Oh! Oh wow, you could have done that the whole time. So sick. Damn. So where the fuck did I go? I feel like Iron Man, Iron Man 1. Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> oh sick, I love the title cards. You're taking me somewhere to kill me. 
What? No, I'm taking you someplace to talk. Oh, there you go. Where well, I don't like to talk. But you do like to lie, which you just did. Because <laughs> we both know you love to talk. <laughs> talky, talky. Classic. How long have you been here? I don't know, it's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. Oh, shit. Shit. This really looks amazing. Glorious. Sentience or something? And yeah, they know everything. Wow. Oh shit. Badass shot. Hey, who is that? Oh shit! Oh shit! Right into the black cross. Come on. <laughs> what did you expect? Yeah, why'd you turn on me? <laughs> oh, Holy shit. shit! All right, fucking Loki. Glacier, what you think? It's fucking crazy. I mean, uh, I already can see that some of these shots are gonna be like when they're traveling through space or dimensions. It's gonna be fucking crazy. Kind of, it's like a bittersweet because we know what ends up happening to Loki. Um, I mean, we don't know what happens to this Loki because remember, there's gonna be different branches of space and time at this point. Because this one's from 2012. He's gonna escape and do his own thing. Meanwhile, the other timeline is still going the way it's gonna go. Oh fuck! Yeah, that's mind fucking. Yeah. yeah, so this Loki's fine. The other Loki didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, the other Loki, we know what happened is that. But we don't know what happened is. We don't know if he's fine yet. <laughs> Crazy as far. I mean, like, visually, it looks amazing. I mean, they did not spare any expense on the Disney shows. That much is apparent. I mean, I don't know who those three, like, the three main statues. I don't know if they're, like, gods or sentients or maybe ancient gods of uh, Asgard. Yeah. I'm not sure. But Owen Wilson, I mean, it seems like they're in a completely different part of the universe. Because they're because even Owen Wilson's character is like, you know, time and space will work a little bit different. I hear it where you'll get used to it. Probably wrong, but I think I saw Black Widow. She was, was a part where like this uh, girl was sitting on a, a stone and it looked like the same outfit and the same haircut Black Widow had in the first Avengers. There's gonna be a lot of unknowns. I don't know if a lot of this ties to like some kind of a comic that's out that's canon or if this is all brand new content. But yeah. obviously, you know, the point of the teaser is to make you ask a bunch of questions. We're gonna find out more as this goes along, but it looks crazy. I mean, obviously it's gonna be a lot of mischief from the God of Mischief, so he's gonna be wearing disguises. Um, he teamed up with the, the secretary that was in the TVA building. Yeah. So I wanna I I want learn more about what TVA is. A lot of fucking questions, I have no idea what the fuck's going on, but I love what I see so far, Glacier. For me, it's easily gonna be Dragon Certified. Yeah, man, I know MCU, all this shit's connected. The series is gonna intertwine with the movies and vice versa, so yeah, for me, Dragon Certified, fucking hit it. We have it guys another one of the books and the real question is what did you guys think of there in dragon swan land any easter eggs that you know you guys know about that we don't obviously we love the feedback so leave a comment down below like subscribe join the dragon squad and remember it doesn't matter if you're up the fire squad or the ice squad at the end of the day when you're a dragon you're, you're a dragon. dragon that's the end of the video guys thanks so much for watching we are reaction dragon i'm ember the blaze and i'm glacier the iceborne and until next time we'll see you next time, time.